Yeah, I'm Dr. Kamal Ahmed, working as a physician consultant in Prest Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. So, uh, as far as the vitamin D is concerned, this is one of the most important vitamin which are mainly concerns with the calcium and the bone metabolism of the body, which is very important in whole of the life and especially in the growing age during pregnancy and we see a lot of deficiency happening in the common current urban population of vitamin D and most of them require a lot of supplementation a lot of bone diseases happening pretty early in the lifespan probably there's a lot of change in, changes in the urban population that is the less sun exposure despite a tropical country and a lot of indoor activities predisposing for the fact that there's a lot of deficiency of vitamin D. As we all know that uh, natural sources of vitamin D is like you have a lot of cod liver oils, fish, milk, a lot of other sources, fortified. Uh, we are also having a lot of, lot of fortified cereals and other stuff which are rich in vitamin D. And one of the most important source of vitamin D is a uh, Sun exposure, a significant sun exposure would help in production of a lot of vitamin D. Especially coming to the children, growing children and a pregnancy state where the requirement of vitamin D and calcium is very high. Calcium and vitamin D, they both work together actually. Vitamin D actually increases, uh, uh, deals with the absorption of calcium and which is necessary for the body to build up the bone, cartilage and other stuff. So uh, in case, in those conditions where the levels are low or the patient is having bony disease, like in kids we have uh, rickets and in adults we have osteomalacia where we need to treat aggressively with a lot of calcium and vitamin D supplementation. So uh, vitamin D becomes an important part of the uh, vitamin and the life and especially in the growing children and the pregnancy state.